Hello, um, I'm Claire McLernan. I'm an active travel officer for the sustainable transport charity Sustrans. We decided that we were going to try and get as many women as we could on bicycles uh, for a photo call at Belfast City Hall. And we had the chief executive of Belfast City Council, Suzanne Wiley, um, come along to the event this morning as well. And we followed her journey into work on her bicycle. She's a regular cycle commuter. Suzanne Wiley uh, is a really, really good role model for everyone in the Leading the Way program. Um, she's the chief exec of Belfast City Council and she recognises that cycling for her is the most practical way to get from where she lives into work in the morning in, in City Hall. So um, she realises that it's quicker, um, it's more convenient it's cheaper for the last 10 years of cycling in Belfast. I have definitely seen a rise in the number of the number of people cycling, but even yeah, the number of, of women cycling um, and commuter cycling as well. The Belfast Bike Life report that was recently produced by Sustrans and DRD identified that uh, men outnumber women cyclists two to one. Now that ratio is even greater outside of Belfast. Um, I'm not sure there are many barriers specific to women when it comes to not cycling to work. Um, to an extent, I think women are more concerned about their image, yes, but I think that that's not, not, the, major, not the main barrier. Uh, having your hairbrush with you or having a hairbrush in work or having a, a little makeup bag in work, um, just getting organised is, is all you need really. But certainly the barriers are the same for everyone. Uh, regardless of whether you're male or female. Better cycling infrastructure would help more people get on bikes.